Lyophilization is the process by which solvents are removed from a solution and the sample is converted to a solid state. This occurs by freezing a sample, then lowering the pressure to allow sublimation, the direct phase change from solid to gas, to occur. A well-known use of lyophilization is making freeze-dried food. In the lab, it is important to know if your sample and solvent are compatible with the lyophilizer. Do your research before you lyophilize a sample. Before using the lyophilizer, check the oil levels of the vacuum pump. The line of oil should be between the top and bottom lines correlating to the white block. If the oil is low, you will need to change or top off the oil first. After you have checked the oil, make sure that your sample is prepared. If you are lyophilizing a peptide sample, we typically dissolve the peptide in a 50-50 solution of acetonitrile in water. Your dissolved sample must be completely frozen before it is placed on the instrument, so if you want to expedite the process, you may place your sample on dry ice. While you freeze your sample, prepare the lyophilizer for use. Remove the drainage tube and remove any residual water from the condenser using a paper towel. Close the front door tightly and make sure that all of the white valves are in the closed position. Turn on the instrument using the switch on the back of the instrument. Press the condenser button. The bottom line of lights should go from red to green in a few minutes. The temperature should go from 20 degrees Celsius to negative 60 once the lights are green. This temperature will continue to decrease from there. Once the condenser lights have reached green, press the vacuum button. Stay to watch the top row of lights go from red to green. The pressure should go from 760 torr to 26 millitorr. Once the vacuum is established, you can prepare your sample to be added to the instrument. Place a chem wipe over the top of your sample vial and secure it with a rubber band. Making sure that your sample is completely frozen, place it in a jar and connect it to one of the valves. Turn the valve to the open position. Stay to watch the vacuum lights go from red to green. If someone's sample is already on the lyophilizer, close their sample valve and either add your sample to their jar or connect your sample to a jar on a separate valve. Open your sample valve and wait for the vacuum to fully establish before reopening the other sample's valve. Make sure that the vacuum is fully established before leaving the instrument. Depending on the size of your sample, it should take approximately 24 hours for your sample to completely lyophilize. When you are ready to remove your sample, close the sample valve and remove your sample. Next, turn off the vacuum and condenser before opening a white valve to release the pressure. You should hear a hissing noise. Lastly, reattach the drainage tube and open the condenser door before turning off the instrument. If you lyophilize a peptide sample, ideally a white fluffy powder should form. If your sample tube appears empty or only a small amount of peptide is visible, you can redissolve your sample and reattempt lyophilization. Sometimes you will receive an oil change error on the instrument. You should always visually inspect the oil level before using the instrument, but sometimes the oil can go bad and still be at the proper level. If the lyophilizer is having difficulty pulling a vacuum or won't pull a vacuum at all, this can be a sign that the oil needs to be changed. The first step in changing the oil is to drain the old oil into waste. Remove the black cap and open the blue lever to collect the old oil. It will take several minutes for the oil to drain. New oil should be a light yellow color, similar to vegetable oil. Old oil will be a darker yellow-brown color. Once all of the oil has been drained, close the blue valve and cap the end. Above the vacuum pump, remove the cap from the bottom of the funnel and pour in the new oil. It is recommended that you have a second person washing the oil level on the pump while you pour the new oil. Once the oil is as close as possible to the top line without going over, replace the cap. On the instrument, you will need to reset the oil by pressing Menu, then going to User Options, Vacuum Pump Maintenance, then Current Hour, and press Menu to reset it. If you don't reset the hours, the oil change alarm will not turn off. 
Remember to fill out the oil change sheet on the side of the instrument.